Why do they call it oven when you oven in the cold food of out hot eat the food? Yes. Kind regards, masses, it's me, Hi Bike, and I am back with some more Silent Hill 3. Sorry for a, a little bit of if that like uh, last video was a little bit loud. Uh, <laughs> I kind of had some volume issues there. But anyways, the pre-stream song was Snowman, um, quote, a cool jazz cover by the consoles. Like they literally call it a cool jazz cover and it is cool jazz and it's nice and relaxing. Like Snowman from Earthbound, by the way, again, the consoles is one of my favorite um, video game jazz cover bands, but Snowman is just such a beautiful melody, and just every time I listen to it, it always fills me with, like, you know, a sense of nostalgia, calm. I don't know, it just makes me feel at home. It just feels very nice listening to it, and, like, every cover I hear of it is always just very beautiful. Like, very... a lot of people, like, put good effort into making these covers. So yeah, if you'd like to listen to this cover, I'll leave a link in chat here. I also, <laughs> so I actually shared like some music with um, Quotes a Coworker too. And um, I mentioned um, I like, because we were talking about like how we got into playing bass guitar because we both play bass. So I mentioned um, that I got inspired by um, the one-ups. The consoles I didn't find, find out until later, but yeah, video games is, is like really what inspired me to pick up bass and especially the jazz cover bands that I listen to because the bass lines always sound very nice and like bass lines just, just in general um, always get me going. They're, they have like this nice deep sound to them. No one really pays too much attention to the bass. I think it's um, underappreciated. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm rooting for the underdog over here and because the bass is cool. But yeah, like I, I sent him like um, a console song, some one-up songs, and like he, he's going to check those out. But yeah, um, how are we doing today, Jack and Tuna? What's up? Yeah, yeah, that cover was some nice vacation music time, right? Definitely fitting for December. Happy December, by the way. It's the the first of December. Well, only for my fellow West Coasters. I, it's like the second everywhere else, but. Still, it's the beginning of December, so that's why I played Snowman, you know, kick off um, our December streams with um, a wintry song near and dear to my heart. Oh, and of course, um, the pre-stream video was, uh, what was it? Why do they call it oven when you of in the cold food of out hot eat the food? Which now is very much fitting because um, we're actually in James's Silent Hill. Um, where we're at in Silent Hill 3 right now, which I don't know, I didn't expect that because like there's a lot of connections with the first Silent Hill and um, from what I've read, the first Silent Hill is supposed to be different from the Silent Hill in Silent Hill 2. But uh, I don't I don't know why we're here in James's Silent Hill, but maybe that'll be explained later. Oh no, whatever. Like I just I feel very um, Nostalgic being back in James's Silent Hill. We are in the hospital right now, so you know, let's we're gonna keep exploring um, this place. Hold on, let me just uh, let me open up the game. Uh, or it, I think it is open, but yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, I had this open so I could test out make sure the controller was working with the game, but they already had it set up for me. I'm really liking this new controller. Everything just works perfectly. Um, other things we did last Silent Hill stream, uh, oh yeah, I solved one of the puzzles here with ease thanks to the power of logic. And also, of course, um, before we got here, we did beat that one very fast boss with the power of gun. Um, I, I think that that boss's name was Missionary, but yeah, uh, we're here at the hospital. Yeah, okay. And let me just make sure that, yep, okay, all the buttons were configured properly, so yay! And how are we doing today, Chuck? What's up? Okay, so we have this nail polish remover, Dad's notebook. When did we... 
Oh, that's right. We picked this up after we beat Missionary. Let me look at this again. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away, far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Wait a minute, did we even read this? I don't remember reading this. All right, good thing I'm looking at this now. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. Good news, your Hollow Alive and Omocat lanyard is on its way, so it should arrive on December 7th. All right, well, it's, on, it's coming soon, so cool. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Oh yeah, the pog lady. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a, excuse me, went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that, half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. Hmm. Update on the Ina bag, it's currently in transit. Awesome. Cool, all this cool stuff on the way. Let's see, the newly born god wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alessa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. After god had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms. The baby. Let's go. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought, she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Oh shit, Harry, okay. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh, so... Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Damn, and oh, I wish I could. I wish we could see Heather's like reaction to that. But we can only read that on the menu here. So yes, or no, no, no. Heather, there, there was no baby in Silent Hill Two. That was Silent Hill One. But, um, I guess, I guess it's maybe some kind of reincarnation of the baby, which was Cheryl. Um, well, hmm. But Gillespie's daughter, Gillespie's daughter was Alessa. And I, we saw that Cheryl fused with her in that ending. So... I I guess I think Heather is more Cheryl, but like also a bit of Alessa. It's that that's what I'm gathering from that. I get like she's like a little bit of both, like a soul fusion or something with Cheryl. Yeah, something like that. Let me make sure I didn't miss any health drinks or medicine here. 
that I would need. Okay. So, oh, let me look at my map. So we, we're done with this floor. We need to go up, up here. Yeah, that's right. I needed to stop then because right after solving that puzzle, because I was like, oh, I need to sleep. This is the wrong lock. But yeah, today, today was a great day for me. Like, um, like, um, I really helped someone out today. Like, um, there was, there was this high school kid, but he was 18. We can only, we can't talk with minors, but since he was 18, like, he was allowed on our unit. But this kid really needed help. Like, he was, um, really suicidal. And, um, just, uh, you know, basically kind of, like, school problems. There's, like, trouble at home. And, um, you know, I just talked with him and, like, um, I showed him coping skills like I usually do for my clients. And he asked for more co coping skills, which, you know, you don't usually see. Like, he really wanted the help. Like, he was willing to, like, um, you know, kind of learn about, you know, what's going on in his head, how he can help. And on top of that, he's also an anime fan, too. Yeah, it is good to help early on. Like, it's better to... It's better to, like, help people, like, you know, during that time of, like, you know, that rock bottom part of their life, you know. Better late than never. But, yeah. I'm really glad I could help him, because, like, you know, he, he really, like, was grateful at the end. But, yeah, I found out he liked anime, and, like, um, I'm like, okay, what's your favorite anime? Because, like, I saw he had, like, uh, an anime sticker on his phone. So he tells me Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, that's, that's when, like, um, you could really see his face light up and just, like, we talked about JJK for a bit, like, I still need to watch the new episode from this week, but, like, um, he reads the manga and, like, he was just talking about the new episode that happened. You know, I, since I read ahead, I know what happens in that episode, but I just need to see it, like, animated, but, yeah, <laughs> he was just gushing over, like, how much he likes JJK and, like, because of that, like, um, we could like kind of link some of like his favorite characters to like you know people who are important in his life so you know I'm, I'm kind of like using analogies of these characters to like just kind of help him what i thought i beat these guys oh wait never mind i'm new here <laughs> but yeah like i was just helping just kind of like giving like an analogy like yeah you know so and so was like uh like there's this character like his favorite character was uh Big bro Toto. He's like this total like Aniki kind of character to like um the main pro tag Yuji. So I'm like, you know, think of yourself like Yuji and then like, uh, you know, your your important person is like uh, Toto, you know. They're looking out for you. They're there to help you out. I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Hold on, I need to equip my gun. And like, um, it was towards the end of the day, so Weebade couldn't take him home because he leaves, um, he leaves after we do. Ah! So I just, I just drove him home, he, cause he like, he lives like, uh, what, 13, 20 minutes away from our work. So I just had a nice, I had a nice drive, like, you know, out there. But, um... Yeah, we basically just talked anime the whole time and like, you know, that really helped him like de-escalate from how he was feeling. So like, I'm, I'm glad I could help out there. And it, it's like, it's moments like that when I just remember how much I love this job, you know, why I like working here in the first place. So I'm just, I'm glad I could help, basically. Let's see, there's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. That looks important. Go, go look at that. Wait. Come on, Heather. Look. Look? What? I... Can she read it? What? Huh. I... Maybe not? This stuff. There's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background unknown, name age unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion, died late tonight from blood loss due to severe, er, severed carotid artery, was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, assumed this was cause of neck wound. 
Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. And we're in M4. No, we're not. We're in the exam room. Okay, so M4 might have some answers for us. Is there anything else? There are papers scattered on the floor. Something's written on them, but none of them really seem to be important. Is there anything back here? No? Okay. No? All right. Hold on. Let me... Let me try to remember how how do shoot. That's how shoot. Okay, I got this. Get in there. Just kidding. Get in. Get in there. No, get in there. Ah. Oh wait, I remember why I had the katana. So I wouldn't waste my bullet. That's alright. Come on, Heather. In. Okay. Huh? Yeah, make it stop. Eleven nineteen. Turn off the alarm, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I need to like investigate this room. I can't have that shit going off while I'm looking. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. The attached case, or is it attaché? I don't know. Fucking French, maybe, is locked. Maybe it's the. Maybe it's the the time. It looked like eleven nineteen to me, but oh wait, no, hold on. We can go through all this. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, that that's simple. An instant camera. Oh. Now I can be Fuzzy Pickles Man. Let's see. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Ooh. Can I use it? Okay. Wait. What if... What if I combine the nail polish remover with this? I don't know. Like, maybe for a photo. Whatever. Reveal some hidden stuff on the little Polaroid or whatever. I guess not. Okay, we'll check this place out. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god. Really? Is it is it worth getting this med kit? Maybe Maybe I should use the katana. Oh. Oh, that sucks. All right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, face the power of my weave sword. Okay, yeah. No, that's way more effective. Cool. Stay dead. Alright, cool. I'll take that. How's her health? She's in the yellow, she's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that client also like suggested I watch this anime called Go Sick. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but it's like it's about this, like, detective girl, and I, I guess it's, like, some kind of, like, mystery thing. And he said that there was- there was funny stuff in it, so I'm like, okay. Seems interesting. And she's, like, a- he would describe there as, like, a, a small detective. So I'm just thinking the whole time, oh, it's, it's like, Naoto! But, yeah, that's- I will add that to my list. Let's see. We can check the elevator- the day room! I don't think we've checked that yet. Hey, devil, how we doing today? What's up? So let's check that part out before we go to the stairs. 
Not Ghost in the Shell. I've seen Ghost in the Shell, at least the movie, but... I see- so I know that there's like different Ghost in the Shell anime. My dad actually watches those. I've seen like parts of it. Wait, that- that nurse has a gun? Why do you have a fucking gun? What the shit? Get- put that gun away! Nurses aren't supposed to have that! Yeah. Take my weed sword. No, but yeah, the anime that I mentioned is called Gosik. Like, go and then sick, but it's one word. Like, sick as in, I'm ill. <laughs> the nurse has a gun because it's for administering painkillers from a distance. Okay. Oh, of course. It's advanced nurse technology I'm not aware of. <laughs> Alright. Let me see. Lock's broken and... Push the button, but the elevator doesn't seem to be responding. Okay. So... Well, we got thing from M4. Wait, what's that mark? What is that? Oh, that's a check mark, so I guess- I guess we're done there. Patented Silent Hill equipment. Of course. Maybe if I go back to the exam room, something's gonna happen. Let's see. Oh, is Heather okay? I'm a little concerned there. Let's give her a health drink. There we go. Yellow's fine. Yeah, like I thought I heard a gun when we were here. But I was like, nah, that's just Heather's gun. But <laughs> no. I didn't realize these nurses could have guns. So, uh... Okay, I, I guess we don't really need to come back here. There's not really much else we can do. So... I don't remember... I don't think we're able to go to the third floor, but... Let, let's see. Or, wait, there might be... I think there might be something we have to do. C4. We have to go to C4 if I can't go to the third floor. Maybe the camera would help us there. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. There's something here. Ah, ah, wrong button, wrong button! Ah. What? Oh, that's blocked. No, the fucking gun nurse! Get back here! Ah! You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay, I got this. It's just you two. Huh. Ah. Yeah, stay, stay. There we go. Oh, again. Again! Make sure she's dead. Okay, cool. Alright. How are you now, Heather? Okay, she's alright. She's fine. I'll wait till that gets worse. Okay. Oh. Did we get a key for the stairs? Or is that the stairs? Oh wait, wait, no, this was a different door. No, there was another door, I remember that. Or maybe I'm remembering wrong. No, what, what was I? Is this a map? Uh, turn around. And it should be... Uh, or is it? This door. It's locked. I don't have a key. Okay. So I think maybe our answer is in that one room. Okay, let's just go to the elevator. To the third floor. Oh, I don't think so. Nah, it didn't glow. Alright, well at least 
At least for... We don't have to explore too much. I am gonna miss that third floor though. Good times. We can't go to the basement either. So we're really just focusing on the first two floors. All right. So... The room we want is C4. Go this way. Wait. My controller is shaking a bit. I don't know if that's to show Heather's heartbeat is racing a little bit because she's like a little bit lower on health. Or what? That's weird. That's never... Never mind. It stopped vibrating. I think it's... I think that was to show her breathing? No, wait. Never mind, it's shaking again. Or vibrating, I don't... Like, it's very, like, gently vibrating. Almost like a, a gentle heartbeat. I don't know what's up with that. But she should be fine. I want to save up on that health kit. See, I think this is the room we need. Just kidding, it's down there. Okay. So this thing here. Oh, that's right, the, the key is there. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we've explored everywhere here. So, you sure I can't combine these two? Can't use it? Oh, I can use this. There we go. I used the nail polish remover. Got a stairwell key. Yay. I could have sworn we've had that nail polish. Why didn't I just... I could have sworn I tried something like that. Whatever. Problem solved. Now we can go up and run over there. Yeah, this vibrating controller thing is it's freaky. It's like my controller is breathing. Oh, of course. Since we have progress, now the nurses are showing up again. Alright, did I go the right way? I went the wrong way. Of course I did. See, the elevator should be here, I think. I thought the elevator should be here. Can't get me in here. Alright. Back up here. Kill the nurses here, so we're good. Okay, that's the room that is over here. Oh, okay. No, I get it. This is gonna take us to the third floor. So we are gonna explore the third floor. All right. Wait, let me take a little swig of my drink. to the roof? Oh, okay. I guess I passed where we needed to go. What was this? Ah, oh, it's our friend Stanley Coleman, huh? Forgot about him. Yeah, we've, we've been getting these little love notes from Stanley Coleman, who was apparently a patient here, but then how does he know Heather? Like, he, he was like straight up addressing Heather. I don't, I guess we'll find out. I also like the rooftop. 
makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. He keeps leaving these dolls with the, these messages too. Weird. That's a thing. What the heck? It almost kind of looked like Siren Head. Just for a little bit. Why am I here? There has to be something here. Is that is that supposed to be Stanley? Okay, Stanley. Well, there's two of them. Ah, there's two of them. Wait. Oh, it's those sock and boppums. Oh, okay. I see. Hey. Hey. Not cool, dudes. Okay. I, I don't know what was there. Okay, you know what? I, I think I should take that first aid kit now. I just realized I probably should have saved. Uh, you know what? It's not too late to do that. Let's do that before we go to the third floor. Yeah, I totally missed the third floor door. That's cool. Right, I think we can walk all the way down to the first floor. I, <laughs> I can't walk straight. What? No, there, there's gotta be. There we go. Okay, yeah, there's our first floor. Let's not go to the basement. There's something waiting for us. Go to the left. Damn, that thing is breathing. Yep, hi. Ah! Wrong, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Wrong button, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh. I'm still in the yellow, that's fine. Ugh, that's bullshit though. I kept pressing the L1 button, not the L2 button to aim. Alright. Well, I'll make a separate save file. I don't know, feel too happy about getting hits right there, but whatever. less to explore in the basement so let's go to the basement first if we can all right there's not anyone else here i'll just circle around yeah wait <laughs> i don't need the elevator for this never mind get me out where are the stairs See what's down here. Oh. What did you find? What is that? What is that? Submachine gun bullets. What is that noise? Where am I gonna get a submachine gun? Did we go through this door yet? It's the electrical room. Can't get into electrical. Oh, it's a bike? No, it's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? Wait, we've been seeing wheelchairs throughout this game. It's gotta mean something. Wait, maybe it's like the wheelchair that Cheryl was on from towards the end of Silent Hill 1. I don't know, we'll see. It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. 
How about this cool TV? She's noticed something. Streaks of blood, as if something got dragged, are continuing on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Uh, I don't like that. Nothing else? No, she wants to get out of here? All right. Yeah, more blood. Oh, gun! There's the gun. Let me just check the other doors. Pick that up. The wall is scarred with bullet marks. What the hell could they have been shooting at? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, there's only this place here. The blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Okay, never mind. We're not looking in there then. That's why we can't get down here through the elevator. Well, I'm glad that we picked up the submachine gun. Let me look at that description. Holds 32 rounds of ammunition. Great for its continuous firing. Let me reload it, but I'm not going to equip it. Let's see. Now we still got our weave sword ready for action. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Third floor time. Like, I can climb upstairs. It's like climbing down the stairs, which is weird. Because, like, I... The the up button on the analog stick and, and D-pads, basically, like, your forward buttons. So, I don't know. Going down the stairs and using that is kind of weird. Oh, thank God. No nurses here. Locked. Oh, another one of these. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The second part of that riddle might be for this. Oh, wrong thing. Let me see. Just to test that out. It was the... Uh... 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 Stanley's diary. What the heck was it? What was this? Oh no, that's old. Never mind. What do you that? Which one of these was the riddle? Maybe I should start up here. No. Wait, I think this is all just. Now this is just Stanley's rants. Where's the... Is it this? No, that's the corpse. Is it the... Is it this? Okay, it's this. Wait, no. Yeah, this is all for the same puzzle. Because I remember I only focused on this, but then these are just... Those are just more hints to that. Okay. I guess we'll find our key somewhere on this floor then. We did just get here. Wait. There's not much else. Well, nonetheless, we will still look. Was this the stair? Yeah, that's the stair door. We'll go through here. Oh, I remember this place. This was supposed to be the asylum. Like the... The isolation rooms. Step. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, the padded rooms, that's what they were called. I remember this place. Oh, so there's nothing here. It was just her. It's 
a pleasant little surprise. All right. Ah, another note. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest, like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance, like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath, like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me, should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. More of his cryptic bullshit. All right. I just want a key. Some kind of hint to the padlock out there. Let's see. I think there's another door here. Wait, go through. Oh. You're drunk, let's hang out. Yeah, let's chill, Texas. How are we doing today? What's up? What you drinking? Oh, there's a note here. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. You'll hit me up? Oh wait! You mean hang out, hang out? Nah, man, I got this stream to run and I got work. Tomorrow. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Oh. Okay. Wait. I wonder, they were saying, don't leave any marks. What if, what if I just got a slash at this place? Nah, I don't think that's gonna do anything. Well, there's still other rooms we could investigate, so. All right, just wanted to try that. Unless. No? Okay. Oh my god, what if that was Christy in there? Damn. Oh, perfect, the save point. gotta be something important here. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. What'd you find? Oh, more notes. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet, with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. Hmm, what does- what does he mean? Stun gun battery- oh yeah, I forgot we have a stun gun! Cool. Nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. So underground garage, what did he mean? Excuse me. So Stanley likes the main character? Maybe, but it's weird, like Heather's 17, how- who is this Stanley person? Has Heather been here before? Plus that one memo was mentioning, mentioning dark hair. Heather's got blonde hair. But I guess we'll find out eventually, right? 
I was confused since the last... Yeah, the, the dark hair, right? It's weird. Wait, no, hold on. I don't want to be here yet. Or you know what? What if Cheryl was actually originally, originally also a Heather? I mean, like, when when the when Harry found her, you know, she didn't ha she didn't know any name. What if she was originally a Heather too? Markings on there. I thought that was important. Okay, so we've looked everywhere. I don't remember seeing any numbers. I don't know if the roof. We have to like beat those sockumbockums or what. Or, let me go back to solitary confinement. Maybe there was something I missed. But then, if there was something I missed, usually Heather would like, be able to look at it, be all like, ooh, there's something written here, but there's nothing written here. Maybe I should go back to the roof, get my stun gun out. Okay. I'll re-equip. Where's my stun gun? There it is. Has to touch him though, so it's very short range. I don't know if I want to use the submachine gun. Well, I'll stick with my katana. See how that helps us. Hmm. Oh. I meant to go to my map. Or I could have accessed the map through there too, but whatever. Okay. I don't... Oh, no, we have to walk to the roof. Okay, check again. Where is the stairs? Oh, <laughs> the stairs were behind us. Oh, here. All right, let's go back up there. I just need like a set of numbers, something. Up here. Ah. 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 What? What did I pick up? What did I pick up? Run, Heather, run. What did I get? What was that? Perfume? Oh, that's right, we had perfume. Wait. No? The camera. What if I use the camera in that room? Ugh, don't run to them! Wait, what if I use the camera in the confinement room? Or or the perfume. There has to be something. Like why do we have them?
Oh, great. My health is in the red. Hmm. And there's no other items here I could combine with. I can only look at Harry's notebook. Oh, right. I met a Nickelback fan today. And the Nickelback fan is quotes a co-worker. <laughs> like, he was telling me he likes listening to like Puddle of Mud, Creed, and then Nickelback. And I'm like, wait a minute, you like Nickelback? And he's like, listen, five of their songs, whatever, like, they, they may sound like, you know, they may all sound the same, but you know, they spoke to me. And I'm like, okay, sure. You know, that's fine. You know who else likes Nickelback? Yosuke likes Nickelback. <laughs> and he knows who Yosuke is. Like, he, he remembers that smile has Bondo and he's like, oh, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you know what? I've, I don't think I've ever met an actual Nickelback fan. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Feel that mighty wind! Yeah, exactly. Feel that mighty wind. How are we doing today, gamer? What's up? Um, okay. <laughs> what if I just... I don't know any other hints. The whole 1119, I don't think that's gonna work again. Yeah. Where else... Where else have we gone? And we got that check mark from M4, so we're good. I think. It seems like that's okay. There's a check mark in C4 too. So what am I missing here? There's gotta be something. Was there something in C2? Did I miss something? That can use the elevator, right? Where's the elevator? Over here. I'm just trying to think, what the hell could we use the perfume and the camera on? <laughs> I'm about to oven of out, about to cold, eat the bussin! Yes. How are we doing today, Jacob? What's up? <laughs> oh yeah, that that's me when when the oven of cold food out hot eat the food. See, two's over there. You've been lurking. Oh okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, hello, hello. We're all just vibing here. Did I sing I'm about to creep on a previous stream? Yeah, that was the drinking game stream. Damn, dude, did you fucking black out that day? <laughs> I don't mind singing it again though, that one's fun. <laughs> oh fuck, what? What? I just noticed they have hair. I remember Silent Hill 2, the nurses were kind of wrapped up, or their heads were. Oh my god! Stop! 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 What? No! What the heck? Heather! I thought we were hitting that nurse! What the heck? Ugh! Can 
Can I continue, like, right there? Okay, so let me guess. We didn't pick up the... Wait. What did I pick up? I picked up... What did I pick up from the rooftop? Hold on. What? Uh, oh no. Oh no, okay, so we have to... What was I... What was I doing? What did he mean by underground garage in that note? Under... Can we look outside of this place? Can we go back to the Silent Hill map or no? Damn, it's not like Silent Hill 2. Okay, whatever. So... I think if I remember correctly, these doors were locked. Yeah, okay. Um... There was something we picked up on the roof. Oh, C2. Wait, okay, I do want to go back to C2, but... What was... What did we pick up on the roof? Or did I already pick it up? How's my health? Yellow. Okay. Maybe I should just shoot those things. here. I shouldn't use the shotgun. I have that. But I don't know. I think I think we should just like run around here. Yeah, let me uh go back. Let's see, she picked up a thing here. I guess we already picked it up. Well she's not paying attention to that. You sure there's not another thing here? Did I already pick it up? I guess I did. Whoa! Alright. Watch there actually be something there that I missed. But let's just go to C2 right now. Or whatever that one room was on the first floor. Take the elevator so I don't have to keep bumping into the stairs. Oh, wait. I think I remember it was not here. What? This way. way was uh, over here gotta get to the C section uh wait oh wrong way this way yeah to the end left to the left Should I just sick the machine gun on them? I'm about to creep is partially muted on the VOD. Yeah. That's where- that's where DMCA comes in. I mean, I didn't get any copyright strikes, I never have, but... It, it's the more important part that- that's like still up. 
Because that first part's really just the normal lyrics, so at least there's that. Keanu should be pyramid head. Not- not you. Okay. I see. But that does sound like a great idea. I'm all for Keanu pyramid head. Maybe there was something here. Fuck, fuck you, fuck, fuck. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I think I saw this one move. Just kidding. No, we're good. Okay. There's nothing here, huh? Damn it, sometimes they just have these rooms with these fucking nurses and they don't mean anything. Come on. I want hints. Ugh, great. I wasted my health for nothing. So there's really nothing here? Ugh. Good nurses. There's really nothing here. Time to take over. I don't think so, Buckaroo. Hmm. Uh, wait. Unequip? She's wearing it? Wait, so is this perfume just like kind of monster repellent or whatever? Alright, whatever. Screw in the corner improves mag capacity. Just press use three times. Oh yeah, alright. Certified Silent Hill expert over here. Oh yeah, there's uh, nothing here. Like, okay. So I guess the perfume is just kind of like stuff you can have on like the bulletproof vest. Not sure about the camera though. I can't use it. No, oops, oops. No, I, I don't. I don't uh, need that. No, no, Heather. So I can't combine this with anything. Unless... I don't know, do you want to take pictures of it? Do you want perfume on this? No. Do, do you want... Yeah, I didn't think so. Huh. No, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, there's... I guess they would have said if we needed something in C2. Wait, hold on. The thing that... the memo we got... Was it? Th this song. Solitary. No, that was the poem. Wait, I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. What if that's a hint? Fly. Or maybe that's just him talking, but... What? Where was... Wait, did I not see? The memo? Stanley said something about the key. Did I miss that? Since I died? Wait. Oh, what, what if this was... You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I'm about to trademark. Pish, 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 what the fuck? 
password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. The quack has it posted. Four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Uh, maybe the doctor's office. The doctor's office. Oh my god, I'm like really red right now. The doctor's lounge. Yeah, was there... There should have just been four, but he kept going. But let me just make sure. Because this is... They're both talking. They're both East Hall. Maybe, I don't know. We'll just go back to the doctor's lounge anyways. Oh man, Heather really needs to heal up. You know what, if she dies here, that's fine, because C2 was, like, totally useless. Just wanted to stash those nurses in here. Tricked me into thinking it was important. But let's see. Okay, so we'll go straight and then left. But left over here. Wait, no? Left over here. Is this doctor's lounge? Okay. The quack has it posted. What did it have posted? Leonard. I think we have this. And then there's Stanley. Hmm. Nothing of interest. Nothing here either? Come on, he said the quack had something posted. This is the quack's lounge. There's gotta be something. So I guess not? Or what, what are you looking at? What do you see? Drawer is filled with papers, but they don't seem to have any useful information. Nothing else? Hmm. You really don't want to look at what's on here? Something in here? No, it doesn't look like there's anything. Numbers, numbers, what do they mean? Like, I'm, I'm drawing a blink here. All I can think of is the roof. We really need to get up there. Let's see. Yeah. Wait, what was in, what was in M5? Or the woman's locker room? You know what? I'm gonna consult the guide. Just to make sure I don't- I'm not like, you know, backtracking in the wrong areas. Let me see. Silent Hill 3. Ugh, excuse me, let's see. Oh. Brookhaven. Oh, also, note on perfume, because I'm not- just so I get a better understanding of what this perfume does. Perfume's an odd item that, when equipped, spawns and attracts more monsters to your location? What?! It can be helpful in subsequent runs where you want to attract and kill a lot of enemies. What the heck?! Take that fucking perfume off, then! Oh my god. What the heck? And I thought it'd be useful. Okay, whatever. Paper- what? Second floor patient wing keypad. What? Did I- 
Oh, never mind. We solved that. Yeah, it's, it's all jeez, all oh man, epic bro moment. I don't know what the fuck. Is this a monster repellent? I know. I I, I really thought. It. What the heck? I mean, it doesn't tell us much anyways. It's like, this stuff smells a little strange. I don't know. I just... If it smells strange, maybe... Oh, wait, maybe it's because they're monsters. Because because it smells strange it's, and maybe possibly stinky. Maybe that's why it attracted them. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Okay. We solved the briefcase thing. Instant camera. What? Apparently there was an ampule in seat two. Oh, I remember. We took the ampule and jetted. That's why. Okay. Whatever. Basement, blah, blah, blah. Rooftop. We got submachine gun bullets. Bullets. That's what we got. Okay. Mm-hmm. What? Underground garage? What? Hold on. The code you got from behind the shop. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the basement. Maybe Stanley Coleman's a monster and likes the perfume. Maybe. Yeah, he left it here just for Heather, huh? Alright, where's the stairs? Like underground garage, I was like thinking it's somewhere else in Silent Hill. Based based on what? Oh, you know. You know. Based on mint. Excuse me. All right, let's let's go down. Okay. I need to look at. Apartment complex? Actually, I find it quite simple. The mint fresh perfume, baby. Exactly. Spearmint. Actually, is there even a mint flint mint, mint what? Mint scented like perfume? It's always ever like, you know, the breath mints, but like what about smelling like mint? Where's the shelf? Look look behind the shelf. What? Where- how do I- You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Where- go behind the shelf. What? There- <laughs> Apparently there should be a code behind the shelf, right? What? Heather. Plausible. Is there nothing? The heck? Wait, camera! What if I use the camera here? I don't know, maybe... Yes! Oh yes, there we go, Heather. Oh, now we're playing with real power. Look at this photograph. 3724. Bingo bongo. Let's get up to that third floor. Watch, there's gonna be a monster that pops up and then Heather's gonna look fucking die. Hold on, we're- oh, right, we didn't go through any doors. Okay, I'm gonna take the muck fucking elevator because I don't want to walk. Wait, I should ask Quotes a co worker what he thinks about photograph. <laughs> How did I know there was a code behind there? So the guide hinted at it, but okay, there was like. There was like one of Stanley's little memos, and he's like, Look at the underground garage. I assumed that the underground garage was someplace else in Silent Hill, but
but apparently he was referring to the basement. This isn't what I wanted. I wanted the elevator. Start calling him Nickelback Coworker. All right. <laughs> His new name. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Ele elevator's over. Uh, where's the elevator? Okay, it's over here. Queens of the Nickelback. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, no. Imagine if they did a show together. You know what? They might... Maybe not a show together, but they could have... It's possible that they could have played at the same festival. Queens of the Stone Age and Weezer were at the same festival like this previous- I mean th this past year. Uh, it was like some festival in September and I'm like, oh my god. I wish I could go to this festival and I could see both of my favorite bands. <laughs> Imagine if they did a show together and played each other's songs. Okay, that- that would be a trip. Honestly, that'd be interesting. Just kind of seeing like what- what their songs sound like in each other's styles. Wizagra and Quotsa. You'll take it? Yeah. Take it! Take it! 3724. Oh, you know what? Quotsa co-worker was bragging about how he went to Nine Inch Nails. Like, So Nine Inch Nails came out of retirement in, I think it was 2018 or 2017. But they came out of retirement here in Bakersfield. They were like, and apparently the tickets were selling for just 20 bucks and every single person got a free poster. And he was like, I'll show you the poster someday. It was like this big poster. But like, yeah, it was like uh, at our like, um, our big arena here, we call it the Robble Bank. But like, I, I heard about this concert, but only after they sh they were here. So I was like... I was like, man, you're lucky you got to see them. I'd love to see Nine Inch Nails live someday. But man... 20 bucks for a Nine Inch Nails show. And of course it sold out. He was like telling me how like there were people from all over the world at this show. But man, wish I could have gone. Somehow you can also hear Josh Homme singing Buddy Holly. You know? I can hear it too. I can- I can totally hear that. It's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Oh, but it's important. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warts dogma in lieu of good religious values. I wonder... I wonder... if Cheryl came from there. Huh. You would love- oh, you love Nine Inch Nails, but a Nine Inch Nails concert would probably blow your ears out. That's why you wear earplugs. That- those can help. Plus, you don't- you don't, like, you don't have to get GA tickets, you could get a balcony ticket. That's what I'm doing for, uh, Queens. But yeah, I get it. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison, or a secret place of worship. 
The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. Yeah, business of... You know, th this, is, this is some shady stuff right here. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That being said, maybe Heather is just... She's a reincarnation of Cheryl and she's like trying to awaken the memories. Yeah, it's, it's coming together. I <laughs> wonder if the order has to pay taxes. Yeah, nah, you know what? I bet they evaded their taxes. That's also why they're investigating. Oh, let me take a health drink. I needed those. There we go. As long as we're in the yellow. There we go. The vibrating is less. Uh, what's the word? Less intense. You just finished watching Silent Hill 4, so that memo was pretty neat. Oh, don't spoil, but like, interesting. I want to see how they connect. Heather is Sarah's junkyard version of Cheryl. <laughs> God damn, of course, that's why she has different colored hair. Because blondes don't exist in the real world. Wait, what is this? Oh, just kidding. I'll go back. All I know about Silent Hill 4 is that the subtitle is The Room, which I think is funny. It, like, Vinny was playing one of the Silent Hills and he was talking about, Oh, it'd be funny if there was a Silent Hill The Room. He had never heard of Silent Hill 4 before. So, like, when Chad was telling him that, you know, that actually was a game, he's like, there's no fucking way. Or, like, I think he was, like, talking about, like, a Tommy Wiseau version of Silent Hill. <laughs> and then there you go. Right? That is funny. What are the odds? But besides that, I know that there's like some circumcision theory going around. Um, based on like, uh, I think the main bad guy in that, um, in that game. I watched the theory, but like I, it didn't really stick with me. So I'm like, you know, the context is gone for me. So I, I don't know anything else about the game. But it's an interesting theory, the fact that they, like, link this shit up. You've heard of the circumcision theory before. Yeah, it's- it, it's a pretty infamous theory, I guess. So, I can't wait to get to know the context. Once I do play Silent Hill 4. The doll is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. Stanley, who else? That's just the theory. A dong theory. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me. Because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone. More beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. I've been Heather, waiting my... for this. <laughs> right, Stanley really said. Okay, Stanley. Whatever. Stanley and his cryptic bullshit again. Alright. Uh. Oh, we didn't check the bathrooms. I mean, I highly doubt that's locked. Where's the... I'll go a little further down. I'm just glad there's no enemies here. Yeah, okay, I just, I just wanted to mark it on my map. Make sure. See, that was S7 we came out of. <coughs> Excuse me. Heather reading that note. Oh no, what a tragedy. Oh god, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Ah! Fuck, fuck, 
she's she's Jesus fuck. Oh oh god. Maybe I should equip my guns? I don't know. I don't wanna waste my bullets. I wanna save those for boss battles. Okay, if I look to my left, that's where I need to go. Oh Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm gonna fucking die. Get in there! <gasps> oh fucking Jesus. Oh god, no! One of them had a gun! That's it. Just kidding. Which one of you fuckers had a gun? Oh my god. <laughs> At least there's no enemies here. Fucking hell. Alright, how much do we have to do now? What? Oh. Wait. I thought I... Well, you know what? We don't have to take the picture. I know the code. I know the code. We're good. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. Oh, wrong way. It's saving us some trouble. Alright. Maybe I should save after I get this information. I'm just gonna make sure I mark everything on the map here. Hope House is definitely important to look at. But we don't have to read it again. Gonna get these health drinks. T wait, tissue and an alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. You need a tissue, Heather? Alright. Well, I'm in the yellow right now. Oh, that's right, because I didn't bother to go back on the rooftop. We do have those bullets, so I'm better. But since there's a nurse with a gun, I think we really should get um, that equipped. Oh, you know what? I have a lot of handgun bullets. Let me just, uh, we'll get this. And make sure I'm ready to shoot the... I'm gonna mark these on my map. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> Wonder if the beef jerky will work on the nurses. Wait, did I take that fucking perfume off? Get that shit off! <laughs> Never wearing this perfume again. Okay, so... Look at the doll. Who done it? Alright, Stanley. Where do they show up again? Is this a- Fuck you. What? Fuck. Who's behind- Are they behind me? Are there some behind me too? Man, fuck off! I'm done with you fuckers. Oh. I made a good guess. There's nothing interesting in or around the bed. Gross! The whole bed stinks like year-old sweat. Eww. Turn that off. Oh wait, it's a phone. Who is it? I bet it's Ness's dad. You smell of poo poo pee pee. Hello? Claudia. What? No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? And where did I go wrong? Listen Who is this? Already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. I 
name is Heather. Who are you? There we go, asking the real questions here. Oh, it's Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Oh. She's his daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? Uh, yeah. A seal. A seal? Is this magic? Okay. A seal? Or, 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 or. <laughs> All right. I definitely need to save. Hold on. What's our runtime? Oh no, not even two hours. I did take a nap before this, that's why the stream's a little later, but okay, we're good. All right, so, excuse me. Let me just make sure there's nothing else here. I still have to find Leonard. I've got to look for the entrance at the end of the second floor hall. Okay, so, second floor hall. Wait, so, entrance at the end? Did Hmm? Don't tell me there's gonna be another door that opens up. Oh, what's this? God, that, that controller is really vibrating. Hold on, I need to hold on to it. I was gonna set it down on my desk, but I don't want it to fall because of the vibrations. Here, let me turn off the ambience and I'll get Chrome up for this link. Oh god. Here, hold on. My name's Heather Mason. Yo. <laughs> My daddy's Harry Mason. Yo. Uh-huh. He told me nothing. <laughs> what the hell is Silent Hill? What the hell is Silent Hill? She's Heather's out here asking the real questions. God, the, the fucking Chad face. All right. Okay, um, I don't think the other doors are going to be relevant. Yeah. Just to make sure though. Alright. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out! Oh shit, I thought... Oh wait, that thing might- that thing might shoot. I gotta run. Oh right, I forgot I was gonna talk about the Enna episode yesterday, but I forgot. It was cool, I liked the 3D models. Like, and like... Like, watching these videos always, like, I always get a kick out of them because, um, the, the the interesting perspective, like, first-person perspective. It's like, it's like playing a video game, which is why I'm so excited for Dream Barbecue, because it's like, oh, are the game, is that game gonna be, like, these videos? Like, because it's got that Hell Knight kind of perspective. But yeah, fun as always. I like, um... I liked how when um, she interacted with the NPCs, like, they don't, like, have voices themselves, but, like, 
they kind of have these musical cues that just kind of like blend into the background music. I thought that was pretty clever. Uh, was there- oh, wait, wait, wait. Was there... I want to go back to the third floor so we can save. We're definitely going to want to save after that. But yeah, it was nice seeing another Anna episode. I didn't expect that, so that was cool. Where are the hills and why are there three? Look over there and then you'll see. How are we doing today, not ramen? What's up? Okay, so... I need to save. Was it here? Do I have any more health drinks? I kind of really need that right now. I do. There we go, that's fine. Should have kept rhyming. Listen, I can't keep up the rhymes forever. I was surprised I was even able to rhyme right there. And I had the persona. She did. That was quick on the rhyme. I know! Like, I don't normally rhyme on the spot like that. But it just came to me. I think it's the magic of Silent Hill. You just got home from the gym and you're miserable? Ah. Uh, hey, look on the bright side. You got those gains, right? You're being healthy. Okay, um, so let's go back to the second floor. But yeah, at least you can kick back and relax here. Let those muscles cool down. The stream. You only woke out because you eat like shit. Or work out because you eat like shit. Gotta find the balance. Yeah, fair enough, right? Hold on, what are we? We are on the second floor. Let me check if we can go to the day room. I'm woke out. I know, I was like, wait, what, what do they mean? Woke AF. Yeah. Hello woke. Wow. End of the hall. What did he mean by that? What did he mean? End of the second floor hall. Maybe he meant down there. Alright, I just want to check all of the, all the ends. Oh, I forgot to mention, so Qu Quote's a co-worker worked overtime last night and apparently they they had like an actively suicidal person and um, they had to walk him over to the locked unit. But apparently, apparently, like they called back 10 minutes after um, admitting him on, on the other side and they were like, disinfect everything. He has active tuberculosis. <laughs> And then he starts, close to co-worker starts laughing because of the irony of it. It's like, you know, th this guy, you know, he's, he's needing help and stuff. And then it's just like, oh no, you got to disinfect or else you guys are going to die. But I'm just sitting here thinking, <laughs> because of fucking Soji, Hakuoki, I mean, real life Soji, Oki, Soji Okita had the tuberculosis anyways. But I'm just like, because of Hakuoki, every time I hear tuberculosis, I'm like, oh, <laughs> TV. There is, yeah, there's inactive tuberculosis. This wasn't here before. Yeah, inactive tuberculosis, you know, it, it's not as um, infectious. So that, that's why it's a big deal if it's active. Or I don't know, I, I'm not a medically trained person. That's how I think it works. What the fuck? What the duck? Yeah, exactly. Oh, cool, thanks. This is looking a lot like Hell Knight. Man, just imagining Hell Knight with like updated graphics would be very interesting to see, especially considering where we're at. Do you have inactive TB? I don't know, you should get tested though. How do you activate it? You have to reach inside your mind. Channel your inner Soji. You know Stanley's sus, but he might have been right about Leonard being sus, right? Yeah, Leonard is like super sus. 
Like, Stanley was just some dude. He, he may have been like... He may have been like, you know, writing those creeper notes about Heather, but like... <laughs> compared to Leonard, I don't know. Leonard's just like, yeah, he's mad at us. He's all like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Wait, yeah, there's no map. This is reminding me of that one part of Silent Hill 2 where Pyramid Head was just like wandering around. And the hallways didn't make sense. Maria was in that cell. We had to find her. Man, this takes me back. So yeah, this is, this is different. I didn't even see the gate there this time. Oh, this one's staying closed. Okay, fine. Don't open for me. I'll go this way. I don't even know where I'm going. If stuff is closing behind you, that's some boss fight shit. <laughs> well, no, it's just closing in front of me now. Am I playing in a ROM illegally? Shh, don't tell the feds. I'll probably buy my own copy of Silent Hill 3 someday though. Yeah, I just I just keep expecting something's gonna pop up. Oh look, a door. We made it, I think. You're telling Joe Biden? <gasps> Not Joe Biden! No, keep him asleep. Where the hell are we? I'm so confused. It's Jover! Oh god! Oh, Jesus Christ. A save point, good. I was hoping we would find one. This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. Joe Biden is keeping Leonard captive. <laughs> Unless after that. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse. I know her. What nurse? Hold on. Is my fucking ROM not letting me see certain scenes? We couldn't see the opening scene. Let me just make sure. Let me make sure we're not missing anything. How do you know it was a nurse? I didn't see anything, Heather. Damn. I don't know what's wrong with this wrong. Let me see. I I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's Biden. He knows. Damn it. He stopped us. Okay. Let's look at this 4K 60 FPS one. Let's see. Blap, 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 blap. Blah. The chief is a pervert. Blah, blah, blah. We've been through all that. Blah, blah, blah. Here we are. Let me skip a little bit. Not until I find that sign. Okay, it's around here. I just want to make sure. I gotta make- oh. There's the door. There it is. Okay. Let's observe the differences. If it's just black, we're good. Cause she mentioned dark room. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we missed something there. Wait, you know that nurse kind of looks like Lisa from Silent Hill 1. Okay, there we go. Damn it, that's so weird. How come some... How come some of these scenes won't work? I don't know why it doesn't show the cutscenes. That's the first cutscene that we weren't able to watch. Not count- Cause like the only thing we- The only other thing we couldn't watch was the opening movie cutscene. 
Like every time, you know, you boot up the game when the opening plays, it, it doesn't show for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. I have not played this game before. This is totally new to me. So I'm like, huh. And I love Lisa so much. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out more about Lisa and Silent Hill Four: The Room. <laughs> but okay, that nurse, I know her. There we go. Yeah, Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. Okay, yeah, the, we're really they're they're really dropping the hints. This is definitely a reincarnated Cheryl, huh? She did get a little weird, though. Weird how? So excited for PS3 remake and MGS remake. Oh yeah, the MGS remake. Man, I don't have a PS5. I really- I need to get one so I- so I can experience MGS Delta. Oh, Persona 3. I'm like, PS3? I've never seen anyone shorten Persona like PS, so okay. You can just say P3 and I'll know what you're talking about. Oh, but speaking of Metal Gear, so apparently Snake is coming to Fortnite. There's like leaks going around. He and Peter Griffin. There, there's gonna be these collabs and I'm just like, damn. I'm gonna re-download Fortnite again. And Duke Nuka? Okay, that I haven't heard. Yeah, we're gonna go. Nah, just kidding. We have to go this way. I'm just gonna... Don't hurt me, please. Oh, he's turning the valve? What the heck? Hideo would never... Apparently he did. That's a nurse. What the heck? What is happening, dude? Oh, that's a door? Okay. Oh my god, the walls! The walls are fleshy! Oh my fucking god! What the- is that a hole? Don't go there, Heather. D don't go in there. What the hell is happening? Oh god. It's slowing down my game. <laughs> it's slowing down the emulator! Lick the walls! Yeah, you're right. It kind of looks strawberry flavored. No, okay. What the heck? What the? I doubt I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if, if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, one big piece of meat. Was that nursed by the latter Lisa? It might have been, but then again, she was like brunette, so I'm not sure. Also... She wasn't wearing Lisa's iconic red sweater. So I don't know. I don't know. What's oh, on red? Red madness, like in perfect blue. It all makes sense. Man, th this is a trip, Uncle Funkle. Oh! Forgot to mention. Ah! I watched, uh, Fesh Pins 3 when it came out. Oh my god, it was so great. And, like, it's a part one, so apparently there's gonna be more, but I'm thinking of, um, donating to the Patreon, the Patreon, so I can get my name at the end of, uh, part two of Fesh Pins 3, because Fesh Pins has left such an impact on my life, because I can't stop fucking quoting it. <laughs> but I, I just- I adore Fesh Pins, so if I could be, like, immortalized in Fesh Pins 3 Part 2, I would love that. This game does such a good job at building a creepy atmosphere, right? Once you get into, like, the nightmare version of this, like, of whatever hos- like, not hospitals, but places you're at, in Silent Hill, it's like, oh, shit's getting- shit's going down. Like, I just love how, like, you know, the- the deeper in- the deeper you go in Silent Hill, everything starts looking all fleshy and rusty and shit. I- I just- I love that. It's creepy. 
it, it's unsettling. It's good shit. Let's hope for Lisa's sake that wasn't- Oh, that nurse wasn't her. I heard, I heard a voice right now, what the heck? Unless I'm imagining things. It's a furnace. Oh. Do I have weapons? I do. I even have a weeb sword. What was that? Oh, great. I don't have any combinations. Yes, I have a katana. You want to see it? <laughs> I probably should whip it out so I can save up on my bullets. There we go. It's my katana. It's handy too, because she's quick with it. Yeah, so we'll hold on to that. See your katana invite you to dinner first, right? Wait, I wonder if the bodies and the numbers have something to do with the keypad. So there's a bloody two. Two, zero, four. Okay, so probably a combination of these. Wait, two, zero, four, seven? Wait, that's four numbers. How many? Okay, maybe left to right? Oh. Wait, what? Give me the seven. Seven, uh, was it zero, two, four? No? Zero, seven. Ah! No! Go back! Ugh. Zero. Maybe a zero, seven, two, four? I will try any and all combinations until I get it right. Give me two. 2074? Or... Nah, I'm gonna go with 2074. What the... I don't know how this doll's working, but... There we go! 2704. A cremated key. There's nothing in here apart from a few stray ashes. Cool! Oh, we have a map! We have a map! Where am I? We're on the third floor? I don't- I don't understand. What? Huh? What? Was there anything else in there? Oh, no, this is okay. Get out of a safe point. No? Wait, let me- let me see if we can go to two and three. Uh. Oh! Map! Okay, we'll look. This hospital's looking more like the hospital in Silent Hill 1 now. Where's the door? Drake, where's the door? Let's go to the kitchen. I'm hungry. Just kidding. We can never go to the kitchen. These kitchens are never available in these games. Oh. 
What's there? What's there? All right, come and get me. Ah! Hey, rude. Oh, hold on. How's my health? Alright, take that health drink. What did you find, Heather? Heather? What's that? Well, that, that looks very important. How do I get in there? <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, it's all... Ah, it's all slow again. Hold on. Shit. Oh my god. Get up, Heather, get up. Oh my god. Are those the babies? What the fuck? Oh Christ, dude, I'm gonna fucking die. Better if I shot them. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna shoot. Or I could run. I said I could oh my god. Jesus Christ, these things. Oh my god. Never mind. Oh my god, let me walk! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Fucking! I think the emulator just doesn't like these walls. What is that? Pretty sure there's a person under these rusty red sheets. Think they're dead. Blah blah blah. I can't. I'm not safe when I look at these. Holy Christ! Oh, that's just. Oh my God. <laughs> Go straight. Oh, thank God. Please, I need a health drink. Oh my God, there's a save point. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles. A knife? And... Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? Hmm... Those candles didn't light themselves now, did they? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Uh, similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Who wrote this? Okay. Anything else? Wanna look at the picture? Look at this. Okay. Alright, I will make a separate save file. Because, uh, her health is not that great. But I do need to save. Because we passed the two hour runtime. Perfect. Just what I needed. So let me go ahead. Look at this. I saw that drawn on the dividing screens at the hospital. But this is different. It seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Ooh. 
we will save here. Excuse me, it's room C4. All right. So, I will leave here. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning into the stream. As always, love chatting with you guys and hanging out. If you're just watching, I'm always glad to be entertainment. So, let me check our movie polls. Okay, so the movie poll on the Discord server is tied. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be the tiebreaker. And we're going to be watching on Sunday night so that I can stream later today, since it's Saturday now. So we'll have, um, let me see. I want to say Hell Knight is next. But let me just double check. Perfect having Hell Knight after Silent Hill 2, I mean 3. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do Hell Knight next. So I will stream Hell Knight later today. So look forward to that. And then Sunday, we'll watch Spy Kids 3 um, sometime after 9.30 p.m. PST. There will be a stream before that on Sunday, so you'll see, you'll see. Sticking out your gap for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Yes, we will stick out our gap for the, the Rizzler hybrid. That which rizzes. Alright. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys once again for tuning into stream. Mata Nene, my dudes. I hope you have a lovely rest of your night or day, wherever you may be. And I'll catch you guys later. Take care out there. Stay safe. And peace out.